Hey guys, so I'm going to be answering the top 100 technical interview questions for the Rust programming language. So I'm finding these on LeetCode under the section of top interview questions. Uh, we're going to do reverse string. So I've actually completed this, but the original video didn't upload. But basically, we have a public function reverse string, and then we're passing this value S, which is a reference mutable vector of chars. So all we have to put in here is S dot reverse brackets like that. Make sure you have your semicolon. Run that code. It should reverse our example here. Yeah, so our input, hello. And our output, uh, hello reversed. So basically, what it's doing is it's taking these chars in this vector and reversing them. A vector in Rust is uh, kind of like an array. I won't go into detail, but something similar. If we look into the documentation of Rust, we've got a vector. We can see what vector can do here on the side, all of its methods. And it has methods from the reference target as well that it implements. So here we have reverse. And it shows you what it does. Here's an example. And if we go to the source code, we can see exactly how it's being implemented. Now we could do this a more complicated way, our own way, and you know, pop a char off the stack and then push it to another new vector and reverse it that way. But this is a, a lot more efficient. You can see they really put a lot of effort into this function. So you're always better to go with the standard library. Um, and even they're not happy with what they have here, because ideally they want the LLVM to do this for them, the compiler. But uh, this is as good as it gets, really. Yeah, so let's submit that. And we should get an accepted answer. Great, you can see how fast it was. Uh, Runtime was 16 uh, milliseconds, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll be doing this for a lot more interview questions in the future. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know.